In the Shuzhou Museum of Jiangsu Province in China, more than 1,000 magnificent articles are exhibited. Amongst these stands a set of funerary clothes made of jade pieces sewn together by golden threads. The jade clothes consist of over 10 different parts, which include a headscarf, a front plate, and a back plate. They are about 1.74 meters tall and are made up of 4,248 jade pieces of varying size. All top quality stones from Xinjiang Hetian, which have been polished to perfection, leaving a smooth and glistening surface. These gems take different shapes, with areas that range from 1 to 9 square centimeters and a uniform thickness of about 1 millimeter. Jade funerary clothes vary in their gem sizes and shapes according to their owner's own figure. Jade stones will be joined to cover their body from head to toe, very much like an ancient suit of armor. But how was such a historical relic discovered? To the east of Shuzhou lies a 60-meter tall hillock known by the locals as Lion Mountain. In 1984, a collection of terracotta warriors was discovered under Lion Mountain. Following the traditional layout of the mausoleums of the Han Dynasty, archaeologists predicted that the tomb of one king of Chu of the Western Han Dynasty would be found in the vicinity. Shuzhou was known as Pengcheng in ancient times, a place of great strategic importance due to its geography. In 202 BC, after Liu Bang had conquered all of China under heaven to found the Han Dynasty, he named his younger brother King of Chu and turned today's Shuzhou, then Pengcheng, into one of the biggest economic and political regions in the entire kingdom. This was the beginning of a line of 12 kings of Chu that would reign over the new territory. Because the kings of Chu used to build their mausoleums within mountains, experts suggested that the tomb of one king of Chu would surely be found near the place where the terracotta warriors had been unearthed. Geologists and archaeologists repeatedly carried out surveys of the terrain, but after a few years, they had still not found the mortal remains of any of the ancient kings. Until one day, with the help of a local farmer, they found an earth-filled pit several meters deep. The possibility that this may be the entrance to the king's tomb immediately struck them, since the layer of ground over the Lion Mound is very thin, and one may not dig for more than a half a meter before striking hard rock. With the pit's earth descending several meters deep, it was more than likely that it had been filled in after the original rock had been drilled through. As expected, after digging three meters into the ground, the outer walls of the mausoleum were discovered. Thus was the entire tomb from the Western Han Dynasty unearthed, and in the process, archaeologists found a small thin piece of jade, then another, and another many more. Faced with this enormous quantity of jade pieces, they remembered the jade funerary armor of King Liu Sheng of Jing that had been discovered in Zhongshan Mountain in Hebei province. Could it be that they had found the legendary jade funerary armor of the Western Han's King of Shu? Indeed, the jade pieces made up a much treasured cultural relic, funerary jade armor. It ranks as the earliest armor to have been unearthed with the greatest number of jade pieces of the best quality jade and the most consummate craftsmanship in Asia. Well, the armor was unearthed, but who did that armor belong to? This will be the subject of our next episode. We invite you to join us.